Hey guys, welcome to another week four battle for the Scarlet and Violet Draft League. Um, I'm sick. Oh, you know what? Here, one second. Got some some crackers and stuff in front of me. <laughs> There's my little remote for my sign in the background. Uh, oh, there it is. Sorry about that. Oops. There we go. Nice and lit up. We got an excellent one today. This is um. Blaha Blast versus uh, the Bug Catchers. Um, should be a good battle. I've heard very entertaining things about it. So let's get right into it, shall we? I hope you guys are enjoying the battles. Uh, if you're if you're watching, okay. The quality is a little fuzzy. Uh, so on east side we've got Blaze Tauros, King Gambit, Love Disc, Vivian. Uh, Iron Hands, Espeon, and on Nick's side we have the usual six. Mimikyu, Cinderace, Blissey, Vaporeon, Seraledge, and Ditto. Um, as far as who will lead and with what, who knows? All right, we're gonna jump right into it. I don't know why the quality is so fuzzy. It's fuzzy for me anyways, maybe it's not so bad for you guys. It's on a smaller screen, so. Here's Mimikyu. Versus Sugma, the love disc. Going straight for a sweet kiss. Oh, if Mimikyu hits itself in confusion, does it break disguise? I wonder. Oh, it gets a sword stance off, though. That's scary. Comes a hydro pump. Pew! Alright, that's gonna break disguise. Uh, basically swaggered last turn. Um... Takes it's like 10% or something from Disguise. And another Sword Stance. Deciding to just go all in. He's going to soak the Mimikyu. Mimikyu is very soaked. Uh, it's now a water type, no more stab. But at plus four attack, here comes a wood hammer. That's gonna absolutely destroy Love disc. The first blood goes to Nick. Huge recoil damage. And plus the life orb. Oh. Iron Hands is here. He's got a water type mimic use. This thunder punch is gonna hurt. He's also got Arvin playing. All right. Here comes the play rough. Bringing Steel Sumo down to 14 HP. Uh, just bulky enough to live. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, Iron Hands will finally finish off Mimikyu. So I believe it's now 5-5, five to five, but with Iron Hands being so low, that is definitely very tough. Here comes Sarah Ledge. Deciding where, who he wants to switch into. Tauros not a bad option.
Here comes Espeon. Which is a very interesting choice. Uh, yeah. Serilich just one-shots Espeon. I really don't know why he did that. That might have been one of the worst things he could have picked. Uh, I see he switched around his items a little bit. Here comes Tauros. Maybe he just wanted a clean switch to Tauros? You notice that Tauros does a little, like, nose wiggle? I just noticed that. Maybe it's the quality being off, and maybe it's because I'm sick, but I did notice it a little bit. Here comes Vaporeon. It's a fat Earthquake. Deal a decent amount of damage. Close Combat should kill Vaporeon at that point. And there's a Close Combat, and Vaporeon goes down. That's one of Tauros' threats, uh, gone and out. Here comes Sarah Ledge back in. I guess now he doesn't have the attack drop, so he's probably a little more comfortable going for something. Psycho Cut! Wow! Tauros is down. The score is four to three. An east with an iron hands that's barely alive. Going for a sleep powder. And Sarah Ledge is asleep. Fast asleep too. So he gets a turn to uh, Quiver Dance up. Um. You know, I think if... I don't think his Sarah Ledge has Shadow Sneak on it. But if it did, that would be very helpful in this situation. I was deciding to just switch. Here comes Blissey. Good switch. There's one Quiver Dance. And I think he's thinking of just going for Hurricane. He can't go for Sleep Powder. He knows that. Just decides to go for another Quiver Dance. So I'm wondering what Blissey is going to do. Because I have no idea what this Blissey set is. Because I think it's one shot like every time. Rocks! Does that kill Iron Hands on switching? I think it does. Comes a Fat Hurricane. Does not do a whole lot. A Thunder Wave. He's gonna go for another Hurricane. Does he still have speed? Yeah, he does. Oh, tons of damage. Um, I don't think he knew how Stealth Rock works. Perhaps it was a misclick. Deciding to switch Chansey into Cinderace. Yep, that's exactly what I thought would happen. Uh, that, yeah, there goes Cinderace. I mean, I guess they can both do that. Maybe it was a gentleman's agreement. They wanted to have a 5v5. Who knows? 
Either way, King Gambit cleans this up real well. Here comes another hurricane. There goes Blissey. Oh, oh, ditto! That's right, Ditto's gonna copy those, uh... He's gonna copy all those stat buffs. He misses the hurricane. Oh my goodness. He copies compound eyes too, so that was actually like really just bad luck, the fact that he missed that. I think King Gambit kills him anyways, but... And here comes the Asleep Sarah Ledge, and that's another hurricane. Wow. That was really unlucky. <laughs> I see. Oh, here comes the Terrasalization. What type are we teeing into? Fire! Doesn't help him resist anything, but if he happens to wake up, this Bitter Blade's gonna do quite a bit. Oh! Paralyzed! Is he asleep? He's asleep! I get another turn. He's going to Terastalize into Bug. Okay. Shed his flying type, double up that bug buzz stab. He's got four Atena now. And that hurricane is going to end it. The Terra shatters on Sarah Ledge, and that is going to put bug catchers up two and two in the season. The powerful 3-0. Uh, good, good, good battle, I guess. That was, um, that was definitely something to watch. Uh, alright guys, well, if you're enjoying what's going on so far, uh, keep watching. There's plenty more week four battles to watch. Thank you. See ya.